been... Sorry. Okay, back to if you guys. Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Melinda. You can hear me. So we're sitting on the freeway, currently stuck, because there is an insane amount of police on the freeway right now. Fuck, I can't even roll the window down. God damn it. Okay. I just tried to roll the window down so I could like stick my arm out of the car, but like I can't get out the car on the freeway. That would be insane. So I'm not exactly sure. I just know that I can't even get to this exit right here to get off the freeway. We can't move. So the exit, you guys can't see it. It's exit number 240, Florissant Road, University Boulevard. So this is the exit that you would take to actually make it to the police department. Can somebody um, tweet Anon Ops Pro and tell him that I would be there faster, but the police have everything blocked off? Um, we gotta find a way to get me off this freeway. I need to get off this fucking freeway. Like I need to see what's happening. It's shut down on both sides. Like, that side's not moving either. The other side of the freeway isn't moving either. They're just, we're just stuck on both sides of the freeway right now, you guys. Like, we're just stuck. We can't move. Like I said, this is uh, exit number 240, Florissant Road, University Boulevard. I want to get out the car and walk along the shoulder. Everything blocked on both sides. Like on both sides of the freeway. The, that's the only reason why I don't want to get out the car is because obviously there are way too many fucking police and they probably would not hesitate to throw me in the car for walking on the freeway. But it's not like we could actually drive at this point in time. Um, I have no idea how long it would actually take me to make it these few feet to get off of the freeway to get to the police department. But this is what I'm facing right now for everybody who has been waiting for me to cut my stream on. Aloha, Carrie. Thanks for watching. Please tweet my link out. Um, what are we doing it too? Mm -hmm. Getting off the freeway right now? You too? Okay, uh, we're not gonna show you what we're about to do because it's probably not the most legal. So give me two seconds. Sorry. Everybody's getting off the freeway. So what we need to do is get off on this other exit and find a way around on the streets. Okay, so that's, ooh. Okay. Don't go that way, Jeff shit. So, uh, anyway. Lord, okay, we just really fucked the cars up. Okay, so we're trying to get, we we just had to turn around. Um, we tried to get off the freeway on exit 240, which is Florissant, which was right where you go to the police department. Um, but the police had the freeway blocked off on both sides, so we are taking a detour. Um, I'm, yeah, we're pulling up the directions to find another way to get to the police department because there was absolutely no way to do it from that freeway. Um, we just had to do some pretty unorthodox things to get off of the freeway, as a matter of fact. Um, so thank you for bearing with us. Um, I was actually talking a lot of shit about the streamers who got on the freeway and were filming their freeway trip because that's complete bullshit. But it's not because like I was rerouted to a media designated area. It's because I wasn't being allowed to get off the fucking freeway. So sorry about that. Um, Y'all need to know that my nerves are extremely bad and that I'm actually a little scared. Um, but y'all also know that I'm not gonna let that shit stop me. <laughs> so I'm still going and I promise to do my best to be as safe as possible. But there's obviously a whole lot that's outside of my control. Um, 
This is us trying to find a detour, you guys, to get to the police department because we were unable to do it on the freeway that we were just on because the Ferguson Police Department had the freeway blocked on both sides. The whole. Like the whole entire freeway. Um, you should be able to make a right. I am. This is not your bridge, and then we'll take Springdale Ave over. Okay. But this is saying the freeway, isn't this how we just do it? No, this is a different freeway. Oh. This is a little highway here. Okay. So, um, thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to keep the stream up so that people have an opportunity to, like, log on and, um, can see that I'm actually streaming live. Um, oh, that's, that's how this works out. Sorry. I'm also not trying to show y'all the entire route because the police are completely out of fucking control. Hey, go. So, we'll, um, we don't need them to know exactly everything we're doing, but we are on our way um, to the police department if we can get through. I just, even if I can get dropped off close and just can like wiggle my way around on foot, then I'll try to do that. Um, so we're in like, we're doing back streets, um, trying, like I said, trying to get there. They're searching cars just detained another streamer for 35 minutes. Thanks, Carrie. What streamer? What streamer did they detain, Carrie? Okay, so you see all of those lights? I don't know, you probably can't um, because I'm too far away, but you can kind of see the lights flashing from the freeway um, ahead of us right there. Um, we've kind of, they were searching for a suspect. Yeah, well, we just got here, so they can kind of fuck off. Um, so what are we doing? Going to find, you're going to the police station. No. Oh, they were looking for the suspect on the interstate. Okay, because they have it blocked off on both way on both sides. Like we're trying to find a way to the police department now. Oh, by Sam Masa. Uh, you know what? I saw his thing. Courtney. I want to go to the police department. We got, we got it earlier. Yeah. Like, we need to see what's actually happening at the police department. We're good. We're on our way. We'll be there in like five minutes. Hey, Courtney, can you uh, uh, tag Global Rev uh, Live and uh, Occupy TV and Occupy Earth and all of those people, please, um, so we can try to get as many eyes as possible? maybe do some multiple screams or something so they can cover like the rest of the streamers who are actually still up and running. That'd be awesome. Okay, he's been released. Yeah, I saw that. The suspect was 5'11 with dreads. Well, number one, that's nobody in this car, but I'm like, isn't this a city that's predominantly black? So like, you couldn't come up with a, something a little bit more specific? Maybe he had on a blue t-shirt. I'm sorry, I don't know. That was sarcasm. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I know it's not much to see. I'm sorry. I usually am good at giving y'all some riot porn. Um, really give a shit about riot porn. I just want to be able to cover what's going on, but I'm sorry that right now all you can see is like us driving around. I was getting so excited. I'm like, the exit is coming up. And then all of a sudden it was like, what the fuck is this? I don't think it's a coincidence that they shut off the fucking exit to Ferguson because they're looking for a suspect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. I'm sorry. We're going to find it. We'll be there in two minutes. Right? Oh, we'll be there in two minutes. We're already, we just got to turn on floor sauna. Okay, so we'll be there in two minutes. You guys, please just stick with me. I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate all your guys' support. Just know that I feel inherently safer knowing that people are watching and it's just not me. Um, so, thank you. They said they were taking him to jail and then what, Courtney? Then they let him go. 
What were they taking him to jail for in the first fucking place is my question. All I'm saying is I'm not going to take very kindly to the police putting their fucking hands on me or try to take me to jail because I didn't do shit already. That's all I'm saying. Don't fucking touch me. I just want y'all to know that I, I've driven across several states in the past day, and I think I might have seen a combination of like four black people. That shit is impactful to me. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but when we got to Colorado, I was so happy to see that black girl walking by herself down the street. I took a picture of her. I said, oh shit, they have black people here. Okay, so I do believe we finally hit the street that the police department is on and how far we got to go down it to get to the police uh, department. Okay. Um, so we'll be coming right up on it. There was a civilian shot, right? Mm hmm There was a civilian shot? What do you mean? Earlier today or just the police officer? Oh, um... Streamer had a light on the license plate thing or something. Okay, so basically people are getting pulled over for some complete nutter bullshit. Like not on the license plate on the back? Yeah, things like that. Thank you, Carrie, for putting me up on Occupy TV. I definitely appreciate it. I don't know why the link isn't posting to Facebook, Courtney. So if you could copy it and post it to Facebook and let people know that I'm actually streaming, I'm down the street from the police department now, that would be amazing. I promise Tom B I would do that and I can't do it while I'm streaming. So please. Rebel stream went down, not sure what's up. Okay, well, I'm down the street, so we gonna find out what's up. Where are we right now, please? We're on Florissant. <clears throat> We're about a mile away from the police station. Right. It's gonna be on the right-hand side. Oh, uh, I think the hotel is over here. Great. Let's... Ferguson. We're here. Ah, right, welcome to Ferguson. Welcome to where we shoot motherfucking Playful black people city, for sure. USA. Playful city, yes, because they plan around with our lives. The link to the stream is weird. Yeah, it's like Oakland to Ferguson Solidarity. I didn't realize that it would come up like that, but you should be able to just copy and paste it. I've, I mean, I've been copying and pasting it. I mean, people could also just go to Ustream um, dot tv slash channel slash bella echo and then click on the the ferguson specific uh channel that i have on that that account or i'm quite sure they could go to like ustream and like search ferguson and i will pop up as a live thing on ustream from what i understand most people are on live stream and bam users so i shouldn't be too difficult to find It seems really quiet. Yeah. But we're like a mile away and all the police are on the freeway supposedly, That's... so I don't know. About three blocks up. I don't want to take my stream down, but if we get over here and nobody's over here, like I'm going to have to find people. And if I got to find people, then I am going to have to take my stream down and do it. Um, but we're not here yet, there yet, so let's just wait. 
just tweeted a short link. Awesome. Where? Right here? No. Fire station. Right? Where's the police station? Oh. Well, where the fuck is everyone? Okay, I'm about to have to call y'all back. I mean, I'm about to have to get back on the stream in two seconds so that I can figure out where everybody is at because we're at the police station and nobody's... Right, just for me to find out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where is everybody? Like, where is the protest? Because this is the fire station. We're on Florissant. What the F? Are we parking right here? All right. Um, hey, I'm taking the stream down for two seconds just so I can figure out where everybody is because I need to figure out where people are because otherwise we're just streaming us driving around and that's bullshit. So um, I'm going to take the link down and I'll be back in a few I minutes. I the police station, but I don't see anything. Well, ask them for the address because, like, is it a substation? Because it's not this one. Where is everybody if they're here? And where is the police station? Because all I see police is... Police station's on the other side of the fire station. Was there anybody in front of it? I didn't see anybody, but we'll double check. Across the street from the police station. Okay. Um, and then that's across the street from the police station right here. Oh, I think I see people. Yeah, go in the parking lot. Off-duty cop shot on I-70. Oh, okay, wonderful. Fuck them and they fucking face. I don't give a shit about the police. We are here. We are here. Fucking finally. We're going to the... Okay. All right. All right. Should we? Just, um... Can y'all... Hold on, let me put my, my backpack on, y'all. Give me two seconds. When y'all get there and you coming back, just um get on the stream and tell me you coming back. Uh, okay, are you on Ustream? I'm on Ustream. Okay. Just uh, search my Ustream with the same thing as my Twitter handle. Uh, All right. Okay, I'm looking for Anon Ops. Can, yeah. I'm uh, Revolutionary Z. Hey, nice hey, to meet nice you. Meet Thank you for being out here. No problem. You're looking for Anon Ops? For, yeah. Uh, Is he out here still? He should be because we drove here together from uh, uh how you doing hi my name is bella i'm from yeah, oakland nice california to nice to meet you too um i just wanted to come out here and do what i can to try to help because uh <laughs> shit it affects us all and we feel your pain you know oh yeah 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 i got the little <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. Um, hey, so um, I was a big part of like the Occupy Oakland stuff, and um, we were holding a lot of workshops for like defensive streaming to learn how to keep us safe while we're using our cameras um, and to make sure that we keep each other covered. And I would really like, hey, if um, maybe we can get some people together to talk about that, maybe tomorrow during the daytime when it's a little less. That'll be fine. Hectic. We were just talking about doing a defensive streaming class. Okay, awesome. Me and Red Z. Yeah, because I had been posting it on Twitter for like okay. the whole time. Like, I'd really love to do that. An on Ops Pro here. Hi. Hey. Uh, hey. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. I'm here, everybody. I'm really happy about it, and I have seven battery packs, and fuck the police. <laughs> or better yet, nobody ever should. How about that? Stop them from procreating. Anyways, what's your uh, stream handle? Bella Aiko. So B E L L. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is it you streamed the uh, channel slash? Bella Aiko. But I set up a new channel for this, and it's a. Uh, Ferguson. Oakland or, and Oakland Ferguson, Ferguson Solidarity. Solidarity. Yeah. Is that the URL for it, or do you? Yeah, have... it's fucking weird. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, after I made it, I was like, oh, it's long. What did you do? Find it? I tweeted it out. Uh, you stream. Is it a free account? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to get you on live stream on my paid account, and that way you don't have to deal with commercials, and we can put them all in the same spot. Oh, awesome. I have a live stream app, too, on here. Okay, Do cool. I need to stream from live? I just always had better reception with you stream. Whatever. I don't really? Think I, I, I've always had bad reception with you stream. Yeah. I got you stream, live stream, bam user. <laughs> 
I got whatever I need yeah, to film the police. No, let's let's put you on. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about a St. Louis city cop. So what if he got shot? What about Mike Jones? I mean, Mike Brown. Who got something to say about him getting shot? Like, okay, so what? Did they fucking block the freeway up to catch the goddamn cop that shot him? I don't think so. So fuck all of that. What's that, please? I promise not to go to jail, y'all. <laughs> I wouldn't make any yeah. promises you can't pay. As much as in my control. Bail, so you know, is that one thousand dollars? It's a thousand dollars for bail. Yep. yep. Like, do they do like you pay ten percent of it, or you got to put it all down? No, no, no. Yeah, he, yesterday. Yeah, I just got out. You pay for yesterday. Thousand dollars cash. All right. Well, Courtney, you heard that. Um, thank you, Sasha. She said my reception is absolutely perfect. <laughs> I don't know, Ustream has stopped doing commercials on my channel for a while when I was doing Occupy stuff, but they might have like reverted to yeah, my status. new CEO maybe, because he's kind of going back on what they did a lot. Uh, <laughs> like they had just, I didn't, wasn't, there wasn't a bunch of commercials, but I will stop because like the commercials could mean the difference between like... Somebody seeing it. Right, what happened and not seeing it. It always comes it. up at the wrong time. Oh yeah, or, the or, or the right time, depending on who you are, right. you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, thank so, God for that commercial. <laughs> when I put my foot in his ass. Right. Yeah. I would very so much like Johnson. to interview a few people. Last hand was Brian Johnson. Uh, you can make this job a speech for last three times. So I'm going to tell you one more time than for time. I don't even know. I just want to interview people because I haven't been here and I just don't want to be like, oh, let me show up and I'm from Oakland and then I don't even talk to nobody from here and I'm in a circle of like streamers not from here. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so I'd love to like. Yeah, right now. If, are there some people like that you notice have kind of been like with the bullhorns maybe or? Tough call. Who's Tough Poe? He, he, yeah, he just got pulled over. over. Too. Where? Oh, where? So can you? Yeah, right around this car. Right here. I don't know who who I'm pointing. Who, I don't know. <laughs> I can't uh, at all. I thought he was right there. Use ad block? I don't know what that is. Can you tweet me like a link to it or something so I could look at or Facebook it actually or DM it to me? Um, I don't see him. Yeah, somebody's telling me to use ad block to keep the commercials off my e-stream. Yeah, do you have Firefox? Uh, your, your web browser, kind of like Internet Explorer? Yeah, I can, I'm sure I could probably download Firefox on here, but I don't. Okay, so if you have Internet Explorer, mm -hmm. you're not going to get ad block. Okay. But if you do want to get uh, Firefox, just uh, from the Firefox browser, go to Google. And just mm -hmm. type on add-ons mm -hmm. in Google, so Google add-ons, and then uh, it'll say, so the Firefox add-ons. So then go to that page, and then uh, on the search on that page, mm -hmm. just click, type in ad block. Oh, okay. And, okay. Uh, so there's ad block, and then also a, a ghostery, and ghostery keeps pages from tracking, too. So. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You will have to, uh, yeah, um, this wonderful gentleman here was telling me about it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll figure that out. Hello. How you doing? Can I, do you mind if I film you? Is that okay? I always ask first. I'm a live streamer. I come from Oakland, California. Um, yeah, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean that's a little distance, but you know. Yeah, well I kicked it out there in, in May. We went over to some, uh, uh, it was it was a uh, little black lounge. You only got like five of them on one street. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not all open now. <laughs> yeah. So we are uh, we giving up for Max Dre. Oh, okay. The strip club. They told us we couldn't touch. I said we can't touch. This ain't no strip club. Oh, well, I you know I don't know nothing about that. It's all this good. Guy you would. So all right. He, well, my name is Bella. Bella, um, you, need to, you need to give a number. You need to be on deck. We need you. Like, come on, Bella, we need you to uh, I mean, I'm here from California. I got somebody watching my toddler at home. I'm only here for a couple days, but I just came to try to do my part. You're going to get some good food. You know. It's, it's going down. Oh, no, food. I know. I don't know if y'all knew anything about Occupy Oakland, but I don't give a fuck about the police, and I'm not afraid of them. So. That's why I'm here, because what I'm supposed to do, dye my skin and my hair and shit? Because, like, it could happen to me in Oakland or L.A. or Ferguson. Are you offended if we ask you to step to the back and let us protect you? 
Would you think that's sexist? Yeah. That's why they fucking rusty, man. I think if men feel the need to protect their community, then they should. But I think that if women also want to do it, then they should be allowed the opportunity to do so as well. We, I, I feel that's what the, the problem we have is because we're trying to protect women and they think we're being sexist. I think it's a good thing to see men um, being responsible and actively taking an interest in preserving like the safety of their community. So I don't think that that's sexist, um, but I also think like the delivery of the action might you know what I mean? Like, if it's like just step to the back, we got this. But I'm like, you know, we push children out. You know what I mean? People feel like they can. It's just the simple thing as when we sporadically all out like this, they come snatch you. Now we gotta call everybody. Right, right, right. We're standing in solidarity, like, oh, you trust that sister? Right. Let her go. But we can't get that because they think that you trying to. Uh, to mean you as a woman by me saying I'm protecting you. I'm not. I, I mean, but I don't think it is because I feel like you would protect the woman, but you would also protect your brother. So, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, him know we 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 in arms together. So we when we say we protect you, we understand like if they hurt him, they hurt. We mean we got that. When we protect the sister, it's totally different. It's not a sexist thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I just want to know that so you put that out there. Like, yeah, no. I mean, I think it's a. I think it's a beautiful thing, and I think we need more young black men around this country to see that. You know what I mean? That's my my whole goal is to preserve life. So anything other than that, they can take it how they want. I want to help sisters out, and I definitely, I'm, and I'm a rider for my guys. But my guy, my, my goal is to preserve life because what do you think they're gonna fight this battle with? And I, you know, right? Who you think gonna lose? We are. Right. But we will go. We gonna go. But we, what our goal is to make sure you be able to go back home to your baby. You feel me? While you live streaming, our goal is to make sure you go back home to your baby. Because we live here. We know and how I appreciate that. We know how to But I also said, like, I'm not from here, so I'm not going to be leading the front of the group. Like, I'm here as a support figure. Right. Like, I'm here to support. So it's different, but so I'm still here. here. Let us get out here. But I like the, I like, I like the work commentary. I like what you said. You didn't look at it as being sexist that we try to protect you, you know what I'm saying? We don't mind women being independent, but we're not trying to knock women by us saying, hey, sister, we got you. Don't, if you to get to her, you got to come to us. I That's think it's imperative saying. to preserve the black community. So, so let me ask you a question. Well, well, okay. It ain't a woman on, on this lot that don't want a man that can't protect her. And they can talk all that. You know you will leave him. Dude, come snatch your purse. You're like, damn, baby. You some of you women want women to protect them. So, oh, well, damn. you know, that's we living in a new generation. But I'm just saying, that's you know, what we're dealing with tonight. I got you. I got you. Was, was, was you the, the lady I just saw a minute ago on an Argus live feed getting an Elliot Davis? Was that you? I'm Bella Echo. I wasn't on Argus feed, okay, yeah. but I usually do go in on my phone. <laughs> <Tonight, laughs> I'm that. Bella Echo. Okay. So, from Cali. Yeah. Non Cali. Hey! I just got out of jail. Hey. hey. How are you? He was out there. He was out there. He had many drug his ass in Huh? There. You, I, was, I got arrested at 2.30 today. So tell me what happened. Okay. Tell me what, tell everybody what happened. We were, we were getting ready to march up the street. Uh-huh. Uh, somebody brought us a big th uh, pan of fish. Oh, so, there they go. So, so look, we look, said, they're getting ready. They're getting ready. So we said, on. okay, before we they're march. They're moving on us. They're moving. Before we march. What do you mean on us? No, they going. They going, they going to, to look 70. for that suspect. They going to seventy. They had the entire That's freeway blocked off, right. like on both we sides. We had to figure out. Making turns, going the wrong way on the highway. We did that. We, we had to figure out how to get okay, here. So, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So what happened was, we decided we were going to eat some food before we marched. Um, all of a sudden, one cop pulled up over here. Three pulled up over here. They told us that we could not stand there, or, or the parking lot. So we all moved off the parking lot onto the sidewalk. Well, the sidewalk wasn't good enough. He says. You got to keep moving. And I was live streaming at the time, and I, I uh, told him exactly what the ACLU told us that there's no law that our feet mobility have to keep exactly moving. for first amendment. I, and rights. I told him, I said, I'm like, that's not a law. I'm like, we're on the sidewalk. You have no right to tell us we're out here peacefully protesting. I right. said, that is an unenforceable law, <laughs> which is what the ACLU told me. And they said, all right. And, they, and then they arrested me. Right, because we're going to show your smart ass yeah. unenforceable. Yeah. How dare you be over here, you know, standing up for the black folk? What's your name, man? Rich. A non-cop non watch on Twitter. A non-cop watch, y'all, on okay, Twitter. He's out. He was in jail. Everybody was telling, like, it was 10 hours. Everybody was telling me, like, 
be careful because uh, Global they, they Rev Live is saying they're anything? targeting streamers yeah. and that you got locked up 10 hours ago. Did they charge you with anything? Yes, my two cents. I made it. I made it. I fucking made it. Yeah, you going to search for swags? Hey, did they charge you with anything? They, 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 they got my uh, mine up there. You, know, they're you, you any charges at all? Uh, they said they were charging for loitering. And, loitering? Uh, loitering and... Uh, You know, I just, y'all know I'm loud. Shit, I like to help. <laughs> no peace! Solidarity from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Excuse me. Hi. I'm good, and you? My name is Bella. I came from California. I just wanted to offer some support and film you guys. Or the police really give y'all a voice because mainstream media is definitely not covering the right shit. Um, and you've been standing over here looking kind of, you know, in the zone. And I was just wondering if it was like if you had a few things you wanted people to hear. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, this is this is him. Okay, he's talking right now. I'm asking if he mind getting the interview out. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm standing my time. Um, hi, my baby's watching me. Hi, baby. Mommy's okay, and she made it to Missouri. Okay. I don't know. I just got here. Like just like I was supposed to be here around six, but it was like hella one lanes and like we got pulled over by the police and I'm riding with my two friends who are white and the police pulled one of them out a car and brought him to the back and was like, So how do you know her? And I'm like, damn you fucking asshole. Like, you know, white people and black people know each other nowadays. Like, I'm, like, robbing him or holding them hostage or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, for real? I can't just be in the car? No, it happened in Nevada, right on the border of Utah, which I shouldn't be surprised about. But, you know, exactly. Everywhere. Everywhere. Because, you know, black... I'll give you whatever answer you want. What'd you eat for lunch? Uh, they gave us pot pies. Actually, cunt bread, like your name fits your stupid ass, bitch. Because who's out here wanting attention while you fucking trolling my goddamn page like you don't have shit else to do while we talking about the value of human life, of black life? Fuck what you going through. Courtney, block him off my shit. What media are you with? Um, indie media. Oh, yeah, because that's an E for everyone. You know, First Amendment, extension of the freedom of speech. I don't need shit or to be legitimized at, as press. But the ACLU did legitimize me as a freelance journalist. I'm going to tell you like this, Anthony. If you're not a part of black media, African media, urban media, my, my image is not legally to not be posted because... I am with a publishing house, so oh, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I'm with a publishing house. Yeah. If you don't have clearance with me, you cannot publish anything I say. I'm just a. My name is my name is Bella. I was a live streamer for Occupy Oakland because I'm from Oakland. I've always talked about police oppression specifically with um, African Americans, and I came all the way this way because I got a black son, and this world hates him because of the skin he got from me. So I mean, I, I feel you. I need your I need your credentials so I can verify them before you can post it. That's just it. Like that's just it. I'm a videographer. I do the shit for free because people need to be able to see this. You can look me up online. It's go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't have nothing to hide. You used to watch my live streams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had the baby and now now I'm back. <laughs> do respect. I'm, this is you want the light shine on it for you? It's out of business. I need your credentials. 
It's like, I'm so happy. It's like a picture of that. Because all my, everything I do, everything I do is, uh, I'm not a fake media person, you fucking idiot. Why don't you go um, review the definition on the First Amendment in the freedom of press, okay? It's an extension of the freedom of speech, which means every single American citizen is a goddamn press person. I don't need no fucking badge. I don't need to be standing in a caged area for free speech. Get the fuck off my stream. Can we take a picture of you too? Yeah. Okay, take a picture of you. I'm very visual. I don't mind. I don't have nothing to hide. I'm an input inside her. I'm an input from her to her. So I'm only here as a support system and to like shed light on the shit that mainstream media is missing. So I, I don't mind. Here, you want me to shine the light? Gorilla status media. Huh? Gorilla status media. You're a press person? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. South St. Louis to be exact. Where in South St. Louis? I'm about to walk around. I own that property. I'm in the press, but more so than anything, it's, it's about me and my culture, man. So when I ask you things, man, I just want you to keep it 100 with me, man. So I'm going to check those credentials. Because if you focus on any type of thing, any publicity, any work, you got a lot of people driving by honking at support for Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. If you can't make changes, fuck it. I'm like, they not important, so I don't care. Anybody here that has my likeness and my image, and my image, and my image, and my my person. Give me the information. I'm being my. Give me, give me the exact information. I just can't go to BMI and not know who you are. Bottom of the gutter productions. B-O-T-T-U-M. I'm about to move around and ask some other people for an interview. I just don't want to interview with anybody without their permission, which is another reason why I was always respected as a streamer in Occupy. So, if you, I'm sorry. I just got here. No problem. So if I come back and see you guys tomorrow, I can probably talk to you. If we give her, you got a quarter. You got a quarter. You would have, this has to be Even the I'm just saying, if I see y'all tomorrow, because I'm not going to be out here for very long, like if I could get an interview. Like the whole point of me coming down here. That's yours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. B E L L A E I K O. Okay, let me show them. Slow down. B E L L A E I K O. He said he wasn't leaving. M E D I A. You said I'm going this way. I said at me.com. Now I have a website. Um, but you know what? Just if you Google Bella Aiko. Y'all will see everything you need to see. Yeah, y'all will see everything you need to see, and I, I can promise you that. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm. Okay, so here's the situation. All right. What's going great. on right now? We down here on Floyd's and Road, and we still can't stand this bullshit that they put us through. They killing kids every day. They killing kids every fucking week. They killing kids every fucking month. We can't. We can't take this shit. We can't put up this shit no motherfucking more. If you ain't down here, you soft straight up. Well, I just came from California to support y'all. You see so. what I'm talking about? You see what I'm saying? She came from California. <laughs> Niggas won't even come from around the corner. I can't take this shit, man. I'm done. Man. Get the shit off of me. Oh, Bella's a racist, am I? I don't think so, you stupid bitch. Hey, do you mind if I follow you? I don't you got care. a bright light. All I'm saying is, like, I'm a woman of color, so I can't be racist, motherfucker, because they don't put us in positions of power. So exactly. fuck you. That's my sentiment. I, you know, when you stream, you get trolls who don't got shit better else to do with their time. That's how you know you're Saturday doing something night. positive. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Not right. That's how you know you're doing something positive. They don't get no fucks. Not right. I see you working, girl. You 
But earlier tonight, it wasn't you who was talking to the brother from Fox 2, Elliot Davis, asking him the tough questions. He, he had a veteran next What do you door. mean, like physically here? Like I just like got out the car. No, no, no. Okay. I just got out the car and walked over with my camera. Like I just got okay. here. I'm, I'm We've been driving for 30 that. hours. Really? I'm off Good. two five-hour energy. <laughs> like I'm like, that's what's going on with me right now. <laughs> um, I'm like, look. Y'all got people out here or something? Uh, my cousin from out here. Is she out here? Can I, can y'all, do y'all mind giving me an interview? I'm sorry, my light is bright. No, 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 that's fine. That's why I asked first. It's okay, it's pointed at the ground. I respect people's privacy. All right, let's ask them. Hi. Camera cool? I, my camera pointed down because I always ask for permission first. I appreciate it. That's like my brother Mirage right there. What's up, brother? I don't know if I can introduce myself to anybody. Hey, man. That's fine. My name is Bella. I just came from Oakland, California to, like, just offer support to y'all. Like, when we was going through shit, the camera showed up to, like, let us tell our story because, like, CNN and them didn't give a fuck about what we was going through. It was like, oh, one plastic water bottle went up in the sky against motherfucking riot gear and shit, but we're hella violent, but the police can shoot at us and tear gas and drag us through the motherfucking street and hella shit. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I already know what's going on over here because it happens everywhere. So I just came over here, you know what I mean, to like see what is really going on for myself because motherfuckers don't. They take what Fox News tells them, and then they take that shit as reality, but it's not. You know what I mean? And so. Whether it's local Fox or network Fox. Whatever. But um, anyways, um, I understand if y'all don't want to be on camera, but like, do you know anybody that has? Like, I've been in the car for 30 hours, and I just wanted to come be a support system to people here. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable or do anything they don't want to do. So I would love to like speak to somebody who's willing. You know, you know. We're in a revolutionary headspace right now. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I get it. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's so many bullshit hard. cameras flying in and out. That's ridiculous. To get into that, 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 that. Man, y'all can Google me all day long. Watch whatever video you want to. I don't give a fuck about the police. It ain't that. Oh. It ain't that. Right now, right now, our head is on is on some totally different trying to focus. So to, to interview is, us or okay. to say something right now. Y'all we, we, decompressing. We yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're decompressing. Yeah. I get it. You, we probably get real yeah. into our feelings at the time. So, you know, the I get it. I get it. I get it. I, get it. I, I want to be respectful. I just was asking. But if I'll be out here tomorrow with y'all too. So okay. maybe, maybe tomorrow. All right. Okay. Well, y'all, I keep trying to get the interviews, but I just got here. I understand people being like hella suspect about like who I am. I just showed up. Um, I fucking wish Melvin was out here. It might be a little easier. <laughs> Hi. Nobody wants to interview with me. I was a little tight up. I want to, you know, take a more subtle approach this time. Uh, let's say it like this We're out here on Florissant Road. We're still protesting for the entire, uh, the whole, representing the, the, the entire Ferguson. This isn't just a regional thing, first of all, so not even just Ferguson. It's St. Louis, it's Missouri, it's United States, it's the world. You yes. know what I mean? We're out here in, re in representation of the entire world, the injustice in the entire world. You know what I mean? And uh, we're just letting our voices be heard, man. We out here on Lewis and in Ferguson right now at the police station, really just trying to take a stance, you know, take a stance for the entire situation, man. It's, it's tragic. It's, uh, it's a daily injustice, man, and it's something that we're trying to shift so we're definitely trying to do an energy shift and change some things around shake some things up stir some things around so that's why i'm out here. i'm just down for the cause i'm out here fighting for the cause so i thank you guys for the opportunity I, like i said i want to take a, a second subtle approach i a little turned up a little earlier but thank you i appreciate it you mind staying your name brother i'm tight the machine man i'm a local musician this is my brother ron g it's my, this is my brother d boy king dc and you know what okay. it's also a bad reflection on the justice system that it, that it even had to escalate to this point for reparations at all Exactly. At all. What's your name, brother? Tell Hold you on. something about the government. Man, Tepo. Serve us. Man, Tepo just got pulled over. Tepo is also a local musician. I yeah, bought 45 minutes ago, right? And I tell you this. I ain't never in my life been shown so much respect by police in my life. 
They treat me like I was fucking Jay Z somebody. Right. They talking so nice to me, so respectful, so everything. I'm like, damn, we got we got to turn up to get this type yeah. of treatment. You gotta also realize. Anyway. You gotta also realize when he got pulled over at that, that particular time, it was it was a million eyes on this right, situation. Right, million eyes. It's just a one on one interaction or one on two on one interaction. It'd have been different. Totally different. A completely reciprocated energy. You know, everybody what I mean? came on their cameras. When it's a million eyes, the when, they, when they know they under fire, when they know they under siege, man, and they know a million motherfuckers is watching, they, they try to they try to approach you with a totally different That's energy. Everybody need cameras in their car. Everybody What's your need. name, bro? My name is King D. Sills. I definitely appreciate y'all taking it. Appreciate you guys taking the time to talk with me. Thank you so much. Thank um, you I just know that it's hella important that people can have their voices heard because they don't give a shit about us. And it's always you know what I mean. From the people that been on the ground, that yeah, are giving it to you from the corporate positions. Exactly. It's definitely time to hear it from the real. It's time for a torch pastor. We tell all these old motherfuckers telling our stories for us. I'm gonna these cameras acting like they really about this, but if then when, when, when the, the cameras people, leave, they leave, like, man. So who, who them old people? Just, man, all of them. Ayana, Fix My Life, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, you name them, I'm talking about all of them, dog. Yeah, because it's their own agenda move, instead of what exactly way, that man. needs to be done for us. It's about the people who are here, but that too, really gonna fight I say, for it, I say that too, and the simple fact that this is a, this is a new generation. Yeah. Who better to lead? The lead a group of people the youth. than the youth. You know what I mean? This this is the youth. Who well, Martin did his thing, the youth, he was the youth. youth. Well, Malcolm did his thing, he was the youth. When I mean, Huey and Bobby Seale did their thing, that they were youth. That Marcus time. Garvey, when Marcus Garvey, Garvey did his thing, he was a young man. What you mean? When the Black Panther Party did their motherfucking thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was young. They got to they understand. But you know what? That's what it is. Like, we need to understand that dissent is our fucking right. They fucked up when they told us we was a whole person and we had access to shit. So now it's like, no, you. we need to hold you accountable. Don't, what you said, don't like we supposed now. to be able. Don't recant now. Right. Don't tell me I can right. hide and shit. Y'all already said we was gonna get reparations and didn't. What is that? Indian giving? <laughs> I like to call it white man giving. Come on now, let's keep it real. Oh, yeah, you right. Shit. The Indians didn't give nothing about it. They got it taken. So hey, so hey, um, you know, during Occupy, this is a lot of the same thing that was happening here. Is like where the people with cameras that came to like to 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 document what happened were being targeted. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, shit, Oakland. I'm on Wall Street. I'm from the town. You know what I mean? Like it was happening to us. So what I'm saying is like we used to have like strategies for defensive streaming to make sure we can keep the cameras safe and to make sure that we could doc document adequately, right? Um, and I really want to put together a defensive streaming workshop to try to pass on some of those strategies. Yeah, I mean, y'all can definitely yeah, yeah. do what it is that work for you, but I just wanted to try to pass that information on because we need to protect ourselves. If we don't protect our community, they not going to do it. No one you know what I'm saying? They steal our tax dollars for their payments and then they fucking don't do it anyway. So it's like we need to find a way to make sure that we can do that shit ourselves. And it starts with us being strategic. You know what I mean? And so it's like I don't have a whole bunch of money and shit, so I can't be like, you know, a sponsor of the movement. Man. Right, but I have a camera, you know what I mean? And I do have some experience in the protest scenarios. I'm a black woman in America with a black son and raising him on my own. Yeah. So I'm like, you I have experience, you know what I'm saying? No, for real. Cause I'm like, my people was like, did you bring your baby? And I was like, they kill our babies everywhere, but they really killing them there. So my baby at home. But like, I had to come, Oakland, California. We're supposed to come down there, uh, uh, next, month. The end of next month. Y'all need to look me up when you come out there. Over, I, I said, actually, we hooking up with Oscar Grant's family. Uh huh. Uh huh. They okay. There. Okay. There. There's Instagram also um, Occupy the Mob is on um, Twitter and he got his live stream. He was out here, tall black dude from Oakland with the Occupy with the A9 mask on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the homie. Okay, that is the homie for me. Like y'all understand. I roll with him. He was like telling motherfuckers out here that I was coming out here, but I got here hella late. Right. Huh? Bella Aiko. I'm on Twitter. Twitter. E I K O. My phone charging. Um, my stream is Bella Aiko. Everything. My email, Bella Aiko Media at me.com. Like y'all can. I'm very easy. Y'all Google you know, me. We find you on one thing. We find you on, one on thing. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and if you look into any of these streamers' camera and say I'm trying to get a hold of Bella, that information will come to you. Yeah, and it, like, that's like I like I like what you said though, man. Uh, developing some type of 
LinkedIn situation where you know we keep this media to keep it flowing. Information. I mean, a lot of it is like we can't be reactionary because we give a lot of our power at that point. We need to be strategic and have a plan. Proactive. You know, and we yeah, exactly we got to be proactive because if we not, then we running around with our tails tucked between our legs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just trying to grasp for something. Yeah. But if we have a plan and we actively working towards that, then we a leg up on them because they have some fucking mindless drones. They following orders. Clearly. You know what I'm saying? Like they get an order to line up, it take them a fucking hour to figure out what the fuck to do. Right. Like if we already got a plan and we coming together, then we're more effective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we got to stop being reactionary. So I'm like, I just want to do whatever it is that I can do to help, but I don't want to. I'm not trying to take a lead because this ain't my hometown. But this is an issue that affects all of us. So I just want to be a support role while I'm here and do what I can. Yeah, I know it's important that people just shed the light, shed the light on it, keep making people aware of it. And uh, keep talking about it because now the world is really starting to see uh, the true deception and, and, and how it started and, and how it how it is right now. Like it's, it's no secret as to who the real devil is. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think I really gotta even drop drop too much of a hint or a clue for people to even know. Like the, the world know and the world sees it now. Some of the world do. I can guarantee uh, at least 255 people right now see it online. <laughs> still running around blind, though. That's the saddest part about it, man. But, you know, word of mouth spread. All I'm saying is that, like, we had it together. We had Black is Beautiful, we had Black Power, then we had crack and heroin and shit that killed that off. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's like we've been institutionalized through the educational system, which teaches us to hate ourselves or teaches us, like, that we didn't contribute shit, basically, and that we still second-class citizens regardless of whatever the, the letter of the law is. You know what I mean? So it's like we need to find a way to, like, rebuild that confidence and rebuild that community within ourselves because we can't keep looking outward for the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to give it to us. That's not going to happen. We got to find it within ourselves. So um, I just really love what's going on here. I mean, I'm obviously, because I fucking got motivated to bring my ass down here. Like, fuck that. I'm like, y'all don't even fucking. I just got 30 hours in the car, got out right there, came across the street, came over to talk to y'all. Like, that was it. Y'all don't even can't smoke weed out here. Like, no, fuck, that's how you know that a motherfucker. Oh, well, you know, in Oakland, I can just get a hold of it a lot easier around the summer. Like, <laughs> so it's different. Yeah, you know, I'm like, shit. No paranoia. She's talking about smoking with no paranoia. Yeah, I'm talking about we at the protest, the police right here, and I'm smoking the weed to my. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's, you know, it's different. You can go to jail for that out here. Nigga, if you want to, nigga, we going. Well, that's a flower, but whatever. I mean, it's just a flower, but whatever. It's like a rose. It is. Look I mean, you see, I'm pointing it down. I respect your, I respect your, your mind. Like, whatever it is you need to do. Like I said, I'm here in an official you support room. If you, if you inside media, you understand what I'm saying, you know, but I feel... It's I'm one of the only my, reasons my, why my, I stayed my, respected. My friends say that she, she had checked you up already, so... That's what I'm saying. Y'all go in. Whenever y'all go in, go look up Bella Echo on Google. Y'all see all the shit. Oh, you found me already? <laughs> I do things. Look, I get really angry about this complete ass bullshit. Oh, yeah. I give it to them. I mean, but they're supposed to be our representatives. Some motherfucker represent me. You charge me taxes on shit. You pass legislation that the police use to oppress me, so you need to represent my motherfucking ass. Some shit, some bad ass shit where y'all the Oakland police been tripping and been, been killing hell of people, so y'all know what the fuck we come They from. tased my child's father to the ground during a permitted march for a May Day protest, you know, it's like the Labor Day, then the next day after like that the they LA. shot Ellen Bluefer dead in the ground right. and then a the police officer right. shot himself yeah, in the yeah, foot. You know it was like the LA, the LA rampant shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 man. He shot a guy that shot himself. Okay. Okay, so Miguel Masso is the Oakland Police Department officer, and Alan Blueford is a 19-year-old um, African-American boy from Oakland, California. He had just graduated from high school. He was standing on 90th and MacArthur in East Oakland, waiting on some girls to come pick him and his partner up. They didn't have no weed in their system. They had no guns. They had nothing. Miguel Masso pulled up to him in an unmarked car with the lights off, and so they started to run, because nigga, who the fuck, right? And so the police 
shot Alan Bluford, then let him lay there in the ground, bleed to death, shot himself in the foot, and then tried to say that Alan shot him and was off drugs. But the coroner's report said that there was no gun residue on him. He didn't have no motherfucking drugs in his system. And Miguel Masso is being bit back to work with the Oakland Police Department. So like when we have events with his mother are, is talking about we want justice for the murder of my son, you got Miguel Masso, her baby's killer, on the fucking front line. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know what the fuck the thing about it is because y'all had that shit going on before this Mike Brown shit. Oh yeah, had, no, that's what I'm saying. When that shit saying? happened, y'all don't understand. I was at my job from the cussing my bosses I, I, out because y'all don't hire I, black folk. I, 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 like, I fuck with, I got a, I got a Mex, a Hispanic cat down in LA, his, his Facebook page is, is Spy Cam, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. S-P-Y-C-A-M, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spy Cam, and they dealing with the same shit down there, but I've been following that Oakland shit, that Bay Area shit, man, before the shit even I'm happened, I'm surprised man. you know who your and, son's dad is out of all the welfare cards. Oh, bitch, some, shut the fuck up. Damn. <laughs> Believe no, that, 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 I got trolls that, like that's how I know I'm doing some right shit because they fucking talking about kill all niggers and all the shit. I'm like, oh, well, you trying to throw me off because I'm doing something cool. good. So fuck they you. Come do this shit, right. man, because if, if they call themselves Christians, man, I don't have a religion. Religion. I'm not an atheist, but I don't have a religion. I believe in one God and one Messiah. But on the same token, why all where everybody talking about well I'm a Christian this a Christian that man but y'all racist how the fuck are you a Christian man yes I should racist like God teach if you're a Christian God teaches you to love your neighbor mm -hmm. that's one of the ten commandments love your love, 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 love I believe neighbor. that any sect of Catholicism within this country has been used as an element of control for so fucking long that you can't even really I, I believe in that too. You can't even too. really I go I there. Believe, like, like, I don't even want to get off. Yeah, like that's, that's yeah. That's <laughs> right, but, right. Man, the world is so fucked up, man. I don't fuck with no politicians. I don't even care. I don't fuck with Obama. He's about For sure not. I don't, I don't fuck with him. Uh, white man, black face. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Puppet. Uh, yeah. Puppet. That's what puppets are. They right. brown wood with a white face. So, and we're going to leave it at that, man. But I fuck with you, though. Uh, real talk, man. My girlfriend and then Google with you. Like, she Googled your shit. I got your credentials. Mm -hmm. You go check up on that shit, man. Because I have a public clearing house that I have to go through. And everything I do has to be accounted for. But I all I feel you. I fuck with you on that shit. I'll be around. Y'all got my information. Like I said, I ain't got nothing to hide. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm seriously here to just support the people because the people need that. We got enough shit working against us for sure. This is serious. And my thing about it is, it just fucked up. It took for the shit to happen in Oakland. Well, L.A. with Rodney King and Oakland, all the shit that's been going on in Oakland and the Bay Area. Not necessarily Oakland, but Bay Area. The entire Bay Area. The shit went down in Florida with Trayvon Moore and the shit with Eric Gordon in New York. Uh, hey. Ezel Ford in Los Ezel. Angeles. Uh, like, hold on, John yeah, Crawford. Like, hold on. Up. Right, that shit happened just right after the Mike Brown shit. But it's fucked up that that's all this shit had to go down for this shit to stop down in St. Louis. And we don't play this shit, man. Like, <laughs> that's, that's fucked up, man, because it took it took for some strong ass motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. They can say a lot of shit about St. Louis. They can say that we killed each other and this and that. Because but most fuck of the time, that. When you, when you, no, this systemic oppression that we've been going through for years, you can't even talk about that shit. But why come when white people fucking do some shit, you don't ever say, oh, well, white people kill themselves all the time. Why is that not a fucking argument? So don't tell me about what the fuck black people do. Tell me about the fact that the police are paid by our motherfucking tax dollars, which we don't have no goddamn representation, so we shouldn't even be paying taxes, number one. But number two, it's even more more egregious because they're supposed to be protecting us and they don't. Let me see you like this, baby girl. Sorry. When Obama first ran for president, I voted for his ass, man. Just me too. Street, I, I, Not I'm the second time. Give it a hundred. But I voted for this motherfucker just because, like, okay, I want to see a different change with I associated with color, man. But on the same token, man, when he did his first term, I said, nigga, I see why. Why the fuck these, these white people pissed off his ass? But on the same token, that second, uh, his second re-election, really you know what I voted for? Them? I voted for my motherfucking self on a pencil and I put my fucking name. I ain't gonna tell you my name. I voted for Hello Kitty. I, I did. I, I, I penciled in my fucking name, man. You know what? Because 
I got a lot better views than him, and I think I got a lot more progression inside, socially inside of people than he do, man. And it's fucked up, but it is what it is, man. I mean, I don't have the political capital, otherwise I'd have wrote my name in, but I put something like, I put something fictitious in there because when they do the fucking poll results, I want them to say like how many American citizens wouldn't vote it for some bullshit because they didn't even believe in this. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like. I voted for the first time, but the second time I voted for my goddamn mm -hmm. self. And every now, from now on, I don't believe in politics. I'm voting for my damn self. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now. When y'all go to vote, I ain't gonna tell you my, my, my girlfriend name, but when y'all go to vote, just know, when y'all see this face, this, this star studded face, man, just vote for me, man, because I'm gonna hold y'all down. I got y'all back, man, for real. And all, a lot of y'all don't understand where I'm coming from, but try going up to St. Louis, man. Y'all see shit. Oh my God, there is this dude with a white face, like black face on his white face, talking about niggers are a whole bunch of racists. Let, let, him, let, him, <laughs> let, him, let him talk that shit. It is what it is. Yeah, but I don't but have like racist, my skin bleach that, looking like but you, that's, though. That's cool. If you racist, just believe that shit. And you put this shit on social media. Facebook shit. I don't care. You talking about white power. Uh, bitch, you're the minority. You're getting phased it is out. What it is. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> How about man. that? So, as Oh, really and you all came from Africa, you fucking punk ass bitch. Now, how about that? Deal with, make peace with that. Everybody, the originals of mankind is from Africa. Science said it. The original continent is strictly Africa. Don't you wish you could wash my mouth out? Y'all think y'all smart. Just think how the Indians think about Chaz. Y'all feel about us a certain way? Think about how the Indians feel about Chaz. I don't know what to say, so don't go there. I got a couple interviews, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Y'all be safe, man. Yeah. When well, you get ready to go home, matter of fact, we got your information. We're gonna try to link it back up with your ass before <laughs> before you leave. You were. If y'all no, no no, if y'all send me an email tonight, like I'll be checking my email and we can go back when, and forth. When are you going back to Cali? Uh, my plane leaves on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. They give us. Like I drove days. down and then I'm flying back. Okay. They give us a couple days. Okay. You were there too. No. Okay. No. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I definitely interested in what you got going on. My girlfriend, like I said, she looked you up, Why? Right? Because that's, that's my right hand. So, I feel it. Like, I need to see all the dancers. And she looked you up. So, uh, I, 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 I fuck with that one. It's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely fuck with the Kelly. It's nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name, bro? Donnell. No problem. Thank you. Thank y'all for being out here. You're going to leave? Just a little bit. I'm waiting on my ride. They coming back. I'm, I'm I, they, they just got the hotel, so I'm waiting on them to come back. And then I guess I'm gonna go. It looks like everybody's turning in for tonight. Hello, how you doing? I'm sorry. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Bella. <laughs> Thank you for being out here. I have so many fucking trolls right now. It's like I must be doing excellent. Thank you. <laughs> right? He from Uncle, right? Uh-huh. Of course. He was supposed to be letting everybody know I came out here. As a matter of fact, he was like, that's the homie. <laughs> I was like, let everybody know I'm coming. Because uh, I need to like get in there because I'm not going to have a whole bunch of time. Like, I got to get back to the baby. And my wage slave. Although it's good you came now, but it would be nice for you to be able to stay for the time to the um, I'm trying to come back. Like, if I can work it out to where I can like raise the the uh, fare to come out here, then I'll just, I'll come back. Uh, yeah. You gotta go find me or something. Um, I just been using my PayPal. You too. You too. Thank you. Oh, now I got that voice, man. They got this with the comedy. Y'all be safe. <laughs> Sasha, where y'all at? Because right, so I only see trolls in my damn stream. If I saw everybody else, then I wouldn't. And I, and I, and I set my mods up with the ability to block people. So I don't know why they're still here. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, it's like dying down. It's not very many people out here. It seems like people are turning it in for the night. I mean, shit, it motherfuckers had a long day. It's hard when police fuck you up and down the streets and start snatching people and shit, like mentally draining. So, um, 
as you see, it's like just a few groups, like the water's over there. You got people over here and I'm just doing a quick, sh there are people who don't want to be on camera. So I just did it really fast. Um, but there aren't very many people. The, um, hold on, let's see if I can turn this around. Oh, okay, well, fuck, I can't turn it around. Well, um, people are leaving. So I got here kind of late. Um, but at least I got here and was able to touch base with a few people. Um, I'm about to shut the stream down so I can get in contact with my ride. So I can go, like, uh, regroup and get some rest because I've been in the car for 30 hours. And um, I'll be back tomorrow as soon as possible. But I definitely want to thank everybody for tuning in, even the trolls, because all publicity is good publicity, you simple fucks. <laughs> and, um, Bye, trolls. right, good night. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. All right, good night. <laughs> Who the fuck got mad at their ideas? Oh my God, okay, let me just shut down on y'all. <laughs>